What's up everybody, welcome back to Brickbox. And if you're new here, welcome. We talk about Lego investing, Lego reselling, building an e-commerce business and holding Lego sets while the value increases. And we right now we're coming towards the end of the calendar year. We're currently coming into peak holiday season. Black Friday is just around the corner. And there's a lot of talk about Lego shortages and whether or not we will see stock drying up in retail stores, whether it will become hard to find certain Lego sets. But with Lego, there is a whole added dimension of this when it comes to the end of the year, because not only do you have holiday season when demand is high and things are selling out because of that, but you also have the fact that some Lego sets are becoming end of life, right? They are retiring at the end of the year. Uh, the Lego group typically has two seasons where they retire a lot of stuff. They do retire stuff during the year as well, outside of those two seasons, but typically in July and in December, we see the biggest number of LEGO sets retire. And of course, when we're coming into December, when sales are crazy and demand is crazy, we are also seeing sets dry up for the very last time. When the stock runs out on some of those retiring sets, they will not be replenished. Retailers will not have any more to put back on the shelves. Now, another interesting thing that happens is that the statuses on the official Lego shop at home website will change when the item goes out of stock. And depending on whether it may be retiring soon or it definitely will not be retiring soon, we may see different messages popping up on shop at home. So when we look at sets on lego.com and sometimes we will see a message that says temporarily out of stock, but other times we will see a message that says sold out, right? What does that mean? They're two different messages, but they're kind of the same thing. So what does that really mean? Now, I wanna preface everything else that I'm gonna say after this with, this is not always a fact, right? This is not a hard, steady truth, but most of the time, and I'm emphasizing most of the time because this, again, we can't always depend on this. So we should use this as a hint and not as a fact, but most of the time, when a sold out message appears on a set that is about to retire, it means that it will not be coming back into stock on Lego Shop at Home. If they are going to replenish the set, it would say temporarily out of stock. Sold out can sometimes hint that the set will not be replenished. Now, according to the Lego group and in a message directly here from them on the Shop at Home website, they say that sold out does not really mean that a set is not coming back. It may come back in the future. And that is why I'm saying that this, we need to treat this with a pinch of salt. It may not always be true. However, they do say here that they haven't confirmed the date yet. They have not confirmed if it is coming back in stock yet. Whereas if the message is temporarily out of stock, then they are definitely saying that they're expecting more in the future, right? So that is the difference between temporarily out of stock and sold out when it comes to what we see on the official lego.com website. In my experience and in testing this and in looking over different sets, and you will see it now because we're gonna go do that and you will see what I mean by this. In my experience, usually, sold out does hint at a set being retired. It does show us that a set is no longer available and is not coming back. And the reason I say that is because we can very we can see a very strong correlation between the sets that end up having a sold out tag on them on the official lego.com website and the retirement list, right? We talk about sets that are retiring soon and then we look, we cross reference that with sets that are showing the sold out banner as stuff starts to go out of stock during holiday period, which always happens with Lego because they can't keep everything in stock. And as stuff go out of stock, we can start to correlate whether the sold out and the temporarily out of stock messages line up with that retirement list. And usually, we find that it does line up quite well. Now, I haven't yet gone on to Shop at Home and looked for sets that have the sold out banner on them and checked if they correlate with the retirement list, but that's what we're gonna do right here in this video. We're gonna look at Shop at Home, the US uh, lego.com website. We're gonna figure out what's the availability like on some of these sets and the stuff that is going out of stock. Are we seeing sold out messaging or are we seeing temporarily out of stock messaging? And for the ones that say sold out, could that mean that those sets are gone forever and will not be replenished by the Lego group? So let's look at it now. Let's jump into Lego shop at home. 
All right, so here we are on lego.com and I'm just gonna bounce into a couple of the most popular themes. Obviously, we're not gonna have time in a YouTube video to go through every Lego set and look at the statuses, but what I wanna do is just pick a couple of themes to look at as an example here. And let's start off with architecture because of course, alphabetically, it is the first one we see here in the list. So looking at Lego architecture here and checking what the stock levels are like on lego.com, we see Statue of Liberty is in stock, Taj Mahal is in stock, Tokyo is in stock, and that's it, right? That's all. All of the rest of the sets are out of stock right now. In mid-November in the United States, we have massive stock shortages here on lego.com for architecture. Now that alone is pretty good intel to have, right? To be monitoring this page and checking what the stock levels are like because it can tell us a lot about demand and supply and expected appreciation and different things like that. But when we click into these listings is when we see the next piece of information that we are looking for. And let me just show a bit of an example about this. So the White House, is a set that we don't expect to be retiring at the end of this year. White House will be sticking around into 2022. But if I go to that listing and I click into that set, we see right here on the White House that it says temporarily out of stock right here, right? The set is out of stock, but it's temporary. They are specifically calling out that they do expect to get this back into stock soon. But if we bounce back to the architecture list here, and what if we check on the Empire State Building, which according to some of the retirement lists, will be retiring at the end of this year. So this one still says temporarily out of stock, right? This does not mean it's not retiring. It just means that they do expect to get some more back. Now it could still retire at the end of the year and uh, they're just gonna get another shipment of it before that happens. So that's what that's telling us, right? They're not fully done yet on lego.com with the Empire State Building. So let's jump back now and check out some of the others. If we check out Trafalgar Square, what do we see here? Again, we see temporarily out of stock on Trafalgar Square. That's another one that is pegged to be retiring at the end of 2021. Coming back now and we'll check out Dubai and see what Dubai tells us here. That is a also temporarily out of stock, so they do expect more delivery of Dubai. New York City is not expected to retire. Paris and London are not expected to retire. San Francisco is expected to retire at the end of 2021. And let's check out this one. So here we go on San Francisco, Lego Architecture Skyline, we see sold out right here, right? We see a sold out banner on San Francisco, which is different than Dubai, where we see temporarily out of stock. Now again, this does not exactly mean that it definitely is retired, but it does mean that the Lego group are not sure when or if they will be getting any more shipments of San Francisco in. And in my opinion, it can strongly mean that they are not gonna get any more. So this could be a very strong clue that San Francisco is done. It's still available in other retail stores right now. You can get it in places like Amazon, but when it is gone, San Francisco may not be coming back. So let's check out some other themes now and go to our list of themes here. And let us look at Creator Expert next. And with Creator Expert, we have the Coliseum in stock. We have the Camp Nou in stock. Volkswagen uh, T2 camper van is in stock. Friends apartment, pickup truck, Queer Eye roller coaster, James Bond, Aston Martin. London Bus, Old Trafford, Assembly Square, Space Shuttle Discovery, Police Station, Bookshop are pretty good stock here for Creator Expert without much being out of stock here on the first page on lego.com. Ford Mustang, Porsche 911, Bird of Paradise all in stock here on lego.com. Going to the second page now we have the Crocodile Locomotive, NASA Apollo 11, Fiat 500, the Adidas Original Superstar, and the Lego London Bus, all in stock. Now, that is a pretty good stock, and that's a little bit surprising to see this late into Q4 holiday period for Creator Expert. Now, what is out of stock? We've got the Titanic, no surprises there. We've got Santa's Visit, we've got the Haunted House, the Ecto-1 Ghostbuster set, we have Elf Clubhouse, Bonsai Tree, Flower Bouquet, Corner Garage, Harley Davidson Fatboy, and the Gingerbread House, all showing as out of stock. 
Now, which ones of these are going to be temporarily out of stock and which ones are going to be sold out when we click into them? Now, let's just quickly check a few that we don't expect to be retiring. We've got brand new sets like Titanic and Santa's Visit. Both of them should say temporarily, right? That's what we see on both of these two sets. So that is correct. What if we check Haunted House, Elf Clubhouse, Bonsai Tree, Corner Garage, Harley Davidson, and Gingerbread House. I'm opening all of these in more tabs so they load quicker. Haunted House says it's temporarily out of stock. Elf's Clubhouse says it's temporarily out of stock, which both of those are expected because neither of them are on the retirement list for the end of 2021. Bonsai Tree, temporarily out of stock. Now, Corner Garage sells, says that it is sold out. Corner Garage is sold out on lego.com. It does not say temporarily. They do not expect to get more stock. They may get more stock, but they are not sure if they'll be getting any more stock of the Corner Garage. So this may mean that this set is currently on the way out. Now that is expected, right? That is the modular building that we expected to go this year. We've seen this in a lot of different places and this may be further proof that not only is it retiring at the end of the year, but maybe it's already gone and shipments have stopped on this set. Um, again, we don't know for sure, but we have a strong clue here from this sold out tag that's been applied to the corner garage here. What about the Harley Davidson? Once again, the Harley Davidson Fat Boy is sold out on Lego Shop at Home. So this is another one that they don't know if they're going to get any more back into stock. And then the Gingerbread House is also sold out on Lego Shop at Home. Not temporarily sold out. It is sold out. So some pretty big clues on some of those sets. Now, some of these sets were on the retiring soon list on lego.com recently. I did a video about that and I showed that. So when it comes to whether or not they're surprising, you know, we've got confirmation already on that, but this may be actually confirmation that not only is it retiring, but they're actually gone, right? They're not coming back on shop at home at least. Other retailers may have back stock of them for a couple more months but that's what Shop at Home is telling us right now. And then we're gonna check out another theme here, right? So we looked at architecture, we looked at creator expert. Let us check out the Harry Potter theme next. And in Harry Potter here, we have the Hogwarts Icons Collector's Edition is in stock. Harry, Hermione, Ron and Hagrid, the Brickheads set is in stock. Voldemort, Nagini and Bellatrix is in stock. Hogwarts Castle in stock. Harry and Hermione Buildable is in stock. Hogsmeade, Four Privet Drive, Wizard's Chess, Fox, Fluffy Encounter, Herbology, Potions, Transfiguration, all in stock. First Flying Lessons in stock. Student Accessory Set is in stock. And then we have a handful of keychains and kind of random stuff. And then at the end here, we have Diagon Alley is out of stock. Let's open that one. Clock Tower out of stock. Chamber of Secrets out of stock. Hogwarts Crest out of stock, Attack on the Burrow, Astronomy Tower, Hogwarts Express, Hedwig, The Night Bus, Charms, um, The uh, Moments set, Room of Requirement, Polyjuice, Potion Mistake, Umbridge's Encounter, a lot of sets on Harry Potter currently out of stock, Hogwarts Whomping Willow and Hagrid's Hut all out of stock. Now let's open a few more of these that I didn't get. So we'll open um, Attack on the Burrow, Hogwarts Express, Hedwig, Nightbus, Charms. Um, I don't expect these to be gone. We'll open Umbridge Encounter, Whomping Willow, and Hagrid. So we have a handful here of Harry Potter um, sets right now. So Diagon Alley, temporarily out of stock. Hogwarts Clock Tower, temporarily out of stock. Chamber of Secrets, temporarily out of stock. No surprise, right? It's a new set. Um, we got the Hogwarts, Hogwarts Crests, temporarily out of stock. We've got the Attack on the Burrow, temporarily out of stock. Hogwarts Express as well. This is one that, you know, there were some rumors around uh, this year, but it is not retiring at the end of 2021, according to all of the different sources that I've seen. And they are temporarily out of stock on that one. Hedwig also not going this year. Now the Night Bus is retiring at the end of the year but it is temporarily out of stock, so they do expect to get more back in stock on the night bus. Same with Charms, right? That is one that is temporarily out of stock. Umbridge's Encounter, the same. They expect more stock in. Now we have the Whomping Willow 
is sold out, right? This is the first Harry Potter set that is telling us it's sold out. Lego.com may not be back in stock on this set at all. And then Hagrid's Hut is the same, right? Hagrid's Hut is sold out. It's been uh, top of mind for a lot of Lego resellers recently because it was half price last week on walmart.com. Um, it is sold out right now on lego.com. So that is it for Harry Potter and let's check out a handful of more themes here. So let's look at the Jurassic, actually let's look at ideas first and uh, see what the ideas theme is doing here on Shop at Home. Um, the Fender Stratocaster is in stock, Grand Piano in stock, Barracuda Bay, Treehouse, Typewriter, Sesame Street, Saturn V, Winnie the Pooh, Seinfeld, ISS, Central Park, are all in stock, right? And then we have a handful out of stock here in the Lego Ideas theme. So let's open a few of these. Now, Home Alone's a brand new set. We don't even need to check it. It's gonna be temporarily out of stock. Ship in a Bottle, Dino Fossils, Medieval Blacksmith, and then let's see what's on page two here. It's just keychains, right? So we can check these three. So Ship in a Bottle is temporary. Dinosaur Fossils is temporary. Now, both of those sets are retiring this year but they are currently saying temporary, so they will be getting some more in stock. You will have another chance to buy them. And Medieval Blacksmith is not retiring this year and it is also temporarily out of stock. So no sold out statuses in the ideas theme. Let's move on. Let us look at Jurassic World. So the Boat Escape is in stock. Dino Chase is in stock. Dinosaur Escape, T-Rex, Dino Fossil. Okay, so we, we have very low stock here on Jurassic World firstly with just four sets in stock on Shop at Home. And moving into the sets that are out of stock now for Jurassic World, we have the Gallimimus and Pteranodon Breakout, the $50 set right here out of stock. Let's open that in a new tab. We have the T-Rex and Triceratops Dinosaur Breakout. Open that in a new tab. We have Velociraptor Biplane Rescue Mission, Dr. Wu's Lab, Jurassic World or Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage. We've talked a lot about that here on the channel and the Indominus Rex versus Ankylosaurus. Now let's check out what we see here in these sets. So the Gallimimus and Pteranodon Breakout is temporarily out of stock. The T-Rex and Triceratops Dinosaur Breakout temporarily out of stock. Velociraptor temporarily out of stock. Dr. Wu's Lab temporarily out of stock. Now the T-Rex Rampage is sold out, right? T-Rex Rampage may not be coming back into stock on Lego Shop at Home at all. And the Indominus Rex is sold out as well, right? The $100 set, I'm a big, big fan of this set. I think this set is gonna fly, but the chance to buy it may be gone. It's also out of stock on Amazon. It's been coming in and out of stock on Amazon. Um, the chance may be gone if you can find it. I like this set as an investment but it's sold out on Lego Shop at Home. So that is it for Jurassic World. And then let's check out what are the themes we want to look at here. So let us check out Minecraft because I'm a big fan of Minecraft. So we have the Rune Portal in stock. Well, it's actually back order on Rune Portal, Modern Treehouse. Oh, wow, we got a lot of back orders here. First Adventure, Illager Raid, all on back order. Sky Towers in stock, Jungle Abomination, back order. Pillager Outpost is in stock, Warp Forest back order, Abandoned Mine back order, Bee Farm is in stock, Horse Stable in stock, Trading Post back order, Coral Reef in stock. So, wow, a lot of back orders here for um, Minecraft. And then if we scroll down to what's actually out of stock, we've got Crafting Box 3.0, The Pig House, Redstone Battle, The End Battle, Clicking into page two, then we have Taiga Adventure, Pirate Ship Adventure, Creeper Mine, Blaze Bridge, Panda Nursery, and the Wool Farm. And let's try and flick through these pretty quickly. Now we've got Crafting Box is temporary. Pig House is temporary. Redstone Battle is temporary. End Battle is temporary. Taiga Adventure is temporary. Now the handful of these are retiring but the, they're gonna get some more stock in before that happens. Now the Pirate Ship Adventure is sold out. So that is gone, no longer available on Shop at Home. Creeper Mine is sold out, no longer available. Blaze Bridge is sold out. Panda Nursery is sold out. And the Wool Farm is sold out. So we can see a handful of these Minecraft sets are drying up. 
they are not coming back into stock on Lego Shop at home. All right, so let's look at Ninjago now. We have City Gardens in stock, Sonic Raider, Catamaran, Titan Mech Battle, Keeper's Village, Final Flight, uh, Golden Zane, and then a handful of keychains and accessories and things. Out of stock, now we have Hydra Bounty, Temple of the End of the Sea, Skull Sorcerer Dragon, Water Dragon. Okay, there's three pages of this stuff. So Ninjago, there's a lot of stock issues on Ninjago. A lot of stuff out of stock here. I'm just gonna open some random sets here. Now Ninjago is another theme that I know is overlooked in the reseller uh, world. A lot of people can't really picture, um, you know, these sets growing in value a lot because they're kind of targeted towards kids. But um, you will be surprised at what the Ninjago theme can do. Now I'm just opening a handful more. Wu's Battle Dragon's already gone. That went in July. So I already know what that's going to tell us. But let's just look through some of these now. Hydro Bounty is temporary. Temple of the Endless Sea is temporary. Skull Sorcerer Dragon is temporary, but it is retiring um, at the end of the year. Water Dragon is temporary. Fire Dragon Attack is temporary. Jungle Dragon temporary. Overlord Dragon temporary. Jay's Electric Mech, Tournament of the Elements, Jungle Raider, all temporary. Now Destiny's Bounty is sold out. Destiny's Bounty will not be coming back in stock, or at least it's unlikely that it's going to come back in stock on LEGO.com. Empire Temple of Madness, also sold out. Skull Sorcerer's Dungeons, also sold out. Kai's Blade Cycle is temporary. Firestone Mech is sold out. Jay's Cyber Dragon is sold out. Kai Fighter is sold out. Journey to Skull Dungeons is sold out. We can see a lot of these sets for Ninjago. That could be a good clue to us if you could find some of these sets. If you were interested in picking them up and you were holding out for good deals in Black Friday or whatever it may be, um, this could be a, a little bit of a fire under you to kind of kick you into gear uh, to go and get those sets while you still can because according to Lego Shop at Home, they won't be coming back in stock, at least on that website. Now let's jump back into our list here of the themes and let's look at our very last theme, which is Star Wars. I'm Apologies to anyone who wanted me to look at a different theme that I didn't do here, but of course I don't want to make this video an hour long. So in Star Wars, we have the Republic gunship is in stock, First Order Stormtrooper, uh, A-Wing, Imperial Star Destroyer, R2-D2, AT-AT, Imperial Light Cruiser, Kylo Ren Shuttle, Razor Crest, Resistance Transport, Bad Batch Shuttle, Yoda the Child, Darth Vader Helmet, Meditation Chamber, Imperial Shuttle, Knights of Ren, Transport Ships. We have a lot of stock here for Star Wars. Boba Fett Helmet, Imperial Pro Droid, uh, ATST, Boba Fett Starship, Luke Skywalker X-Wing, Stormtrooper Helmet, or sorry, I mean Scout Trooper Helmet, Armored Assault Tank, Armored Marauder, Imperial TIE Fighter, Clone Trooper Battle Pack, Mandalorian Forge, Trouble in Tatooine. There's a lot of stuff. I'm sorry for reading all this stuff out. I know it's boring. I'll just skip forward a little bit. We've got the Mandalorian and Child Brickheads here in stock. Microfighter. Okay, so now we are getting down to keychains and I expect soon we'll be getting to the out of stock stuff. So here we go. We've got out of stock sets right now that are no longer that are currently not available. And we've got Millennium Falcon, Mos Eisley, Millennium Falcon, Sith. So let's just open a handful of these in new tabs and see what we can find out on this page. So that's page four, and then we have page five. So that one actually, a few of these are retired since July. So let us go. So we've got the Millennium Falcon UCS, $800 set is temporarily out of stock. Most of these Cantina is temporarily out of stock. The $160 Millennium Falcon is temporary. Now Art the Sith is retiring at the end of the year, but they will probably be getting some back in stock before that happens. Death Star Final Duel is not retiring. Mandalorian Starfighter is temporarily out of stock. Stormtrooper Helmet is retiring at the end of the year, but they will be getting some more back in stock before that happens. Same goes for the TIE Fighter Helmet. 
that will be back in stock. Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder will be back in stock. The Mandalorian Battle Pack will be back in stock. Now, Darth Vader's Castle is sold out. Darth Vader's Castle is gone. And this, I'm a big fan of this set. This is an Amazon exclusive here in the US, so you can get it in Lego Shop at home. Well, you could get it in Lego Shop at home, not anymore. Um, or Amazon and that is it. Now the supply will start to dwindle on this set and when Amazon run dry on this one, um, you may not have a chance to get it anymore. Poe's X-Wing is sold out, not coming back. General Grievous' Starfighter, Sith TIE Fighter, DO, Resistance Y-Wing Starfighter, all of these are sold out here. A-Wing Starfighter, Dulan must have fired. These, are, these have been retired for a couple months already and same for Sith Troopers Battle Pack, all sold out here. So as I was going through this, and again, this is my first time looking over this in this holiday period. I do like to keep an eye on this throughout the holiday period, and this is my first time doing it this year. But as I was going through this, it reaffirmed in my mind that this is a strong clue about retirement, right? About whether a set has dried up and is gone for good, because we don't see that sold out tag being added to sets if they are new sets, right? You never see that on a new set that goes out of stock. On the new sets, on the stuff that is not retiring, it vast majority of times at least, it says temporarily out of stock. And they only seem to put the sold out tag on a set when it has retired and it correlates very, very strongly with the retiring list. So I wanted to walk you through this because I think it can be a very, very useful tool. Again, I do need to reemphasize, Lego do not tell us that this means retirement, so please, don't assume that it always means retirement, but it's just another tool to have in your back pocket. So what do you think about this, right? Did you see some sets that are sold out that surprised you? Are there any sets here that you now want to rush and buy because you didn't get a chance to buy them? Um, how do you feel when you see what sets are currently dried up on Shop at Home and maybe for the last time have dried up on Shop at Home? Um, what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. And for me, of course, I always get a little bit of FOMO. Everybody gets a little bit of FOMO, but I like to stick to my game plan. If I did not want to buy a set before it sold out, I should not want to let FOMO overtake me now and push me into going finding sets just because they say sold out on Shop at Home. There are a handful of sets here, like the T-Rex Rampage, for example, that I was on the fence about buying that I really, really like as an investment but T-Rex Rampage is just a little bit higher than my price point usually and it just doesn't fit my strategy. So I intentionally decided not to invest in T-Rex Rampage even though I know it's gonna do well just because I wanted to put that money into other investments. But as soon as I saw sold out on that set, of course, it made me wanna go and buy it. I didn't do it and I urge you to also try to stick to your game plan and don't let this FOMO kick in and make you do stuff that you otherwise wouldn't do. But on the other hand, if there are some sets that now say sold out on Shop at Home that you did have on your target list and you haven't bought the inventory that you want yet, this could be the time that you should go and do that and you should go and make sure that you get the inventory before it is too late. Now, real quick, I talked a lot about retirement in this video and sets retiring, when are they retiring? If you wanna see the full list of Lego sets that are retiring soon and beyond, check out the link below. I've actually got a link there to download the entire list in Excel straight to your computer. So you'll be able to add that into your data and check retirement dates on different sets um, so very, very useful stuff there. So make sure you check that out and download the retirement list and uh, use that in your decision making. It is data from Brickset. It is not my data, but I hope you find that useful. And the last thing I wanna say before I close this out is a big thank you. We just passed 10,000 subscribers. Keep an eye on the channel for the next couple of days because I will be doing a giveaway to celebrate 10,000 subscribers more information coming soon so make sure you watch the next video hit the notification bell below if you want to get notified when that video goes live so you can quickly enter the contest and win the giveaway and with that thank you so much for watching i'm shane from brickbox.net and i will see you in the next one